Hi guys, it's Ash and welcome back to another video! Yoohoo! Also, I'm wearing this new one piece pajami that one of our fans got me, one of our lovelies. And it's Sailor Moon, it has this hood, isn't it the cutest? Look, there's a moon here. I'm obsessed and it's super soft. Thank you! I <laughs> love it. Honestly, after my promotions for my solo song, Here We Are, has ended, I've just kind of let it go. Like, I've let myself go. So when my solo promotions ended, it was around like the end of August. And I told myself, I was like, okay, just let me just treat myself out to the month of September since I worked hard. And yeah, so I'm gonna eat all the delicious food that I didn't get to eat for the past like three months. October, November, same thing. A lot of birthdays, a lot of celebrations. So you know, I had a lot of gathering with friends and I just ate whatever I wanted basically. I didn't care about what I was putting into my body. And then came December, it's like the festive holiday season. A lot of like potlucks, gathering, drinking. I just kept comforting myself saying like, Oh, it's fine. Your body's just storing up fat because it's so cold. Like I would just tell myself that and I was like, yeah, it's fine, whatever. I'll just start dieting when it's like spring again. I've been just spending the last four or five months being very lazy, not caring about what goes into my body. I am going to hit a point of no return soon. So I was like, this is the time, like now, I gotta go back to my old ways. I gotta stop this unhealthy lifestyle. And also I just found out that I'll be going to America in February. So I'll be going back home for two weeks and that kind of motivated me to, you know, work out and eat healthy and shed a few pounds again. So starting tomorrow, I have about 20 days till my flight to New York and I decided that I was gonna start like a 20 day diet challenge just to document myself and my journey because you know having you guys you know keeping me accountable and just filming myself I thought that would motivate me more and encourage me to try harder rather than if I didn't have a camera in front of me and I know I should still work hard on my own but I knew I needed the help I decided okay why not do this 20 day challenge video so for the next 20 days I'm going to work out as much as I can stay away from processed foods stay away from sugar and sweet savory delicious stuff and I'm gonna try to cook for myself more at home because I haven't been doing that and I think I really need to start now I know this is about you know having a healthy lifestyle more than just a 20-day diet challenge and going back to my old ways of course I'm going to you know try to keep this up for as long as I can but I mean when I get to New York in 20 days I gotta eat some New York pizza you know I can't stay away from pizza and bagels while I'm in New York and when I come back to Korea I'll start you know living my healthy lifestyle again. Guys, wish me luck. I haven't done this in so long. This will be my 20 day journey towards a healthy lifestyle that will go back down in New York, but that will come back up when I come back. So I hope that you guys will enjoy this 20 day diet challenge video and maybe it can be helpful for some of you. This is me getting back on the grind, being healthy, eating healthy and feeling healthy. So wish me luck guys. I didn't eat the cookie that you ordered. It's just, it's just, it's just us. It is good. God. For dinner, I had plans since like two weeks ago, so I came to eat steak, which is not that bad because it's like all protein, but I do think we're gonna drink a little bit of wine. It's 1pm. I actually got indigested last night and I was sitting over my toilet for like 40 minutes because I kept feeling like I needed to throw up but I hate throwing up I, ha I hate the feeling of throwing up so I just like held it down and I drank some hot water and I think that helped a little bit I didn't have breakfast yet I'm still not really hungry but I feel like I'm gonna get hungry around like 2 so I'm gonna make myself some lunch I still 
sound so down right now. I'm fine now. Anyways, I bought some duck meat and I'm gonna cook that with some puchu. I don't know what puchu is in English. I'll find it with onions, puchu, and garlic. I love onions and garlic. When we have Korean barbecue, I eat so much. I always ask for extras. I'm gonna get to cooking. my duck meat right here so I'm gonna put these onions they were all supposed to be like perfectly round circles but that didn't work out like this like on the side this is already like pre-cooked once so you just have to really heat it up put this I'm gonna put a lid over it Right here I have my duck meat that I prepared with onions, garlic, and puchu. And over here I washed some kimchi in cold water uh, because they said this tastes better with white kimchi. It's dinner time now and for dinner today I got salad to go from my favorite salad place to go salad and they have like chains everywhere I got this one it's yummy and filling it has onions and eggs and tomatoes and corn and lots of greens see it's all green oh minimalistic oh and it's empty we came to eat here and i'm in a mask because the dust has been so bad these days but we're gonna get some poke and salad I got the salmon salad with miso soup. Oh my god, the temptations! I know, the smell! Hi guys, I just got home from the gym and I totally forgot to update you guys last night Well yesterday I started the day off with half an apple and some nuts and then for lunch you saw what i had with my friend we had the poke bowl i keep saying poke balls poke bowls and then for dinner i had mexican i opted for the vegetarian tacos two pieces but i did have some nacho chips with guacamole i was so hungry the salad i don't know it all digested within like an hour and i was starving so i had some of the nacho chips so i think it wasn't enough for me so when I got home I was so hungry so I had two boiled eggs and then I went to sleep and this morning I woke up and it was really hard to get out of bed I don't know why I know I should but it's just so hard to find the motivation what do you think the problem is? I don't know I was thinking maybe because um, I don't have a workout partner and I just go to the gym by myself so it's boring maybe if I did something that I enjoyed maybe like yoga or pilates I would have more fun with it I think that will really motivate me no stop making excuses you can do well by yourself I should I should I shouldn't rely on other people and I shouldn't rely on other things anyway so after I got back from the gym I was starving so I made myself some apples with cinnamon powder I don't know, I always started off my day with apples for like the past 2 or 3 years I always have to have apple in the morning, it just feels right I think it started because there was this whole fad about how apple is so good for you especially in the morning if you eat it on an um empty stomach but I'm not sure how trustworthy that is because I think apples are pretty acidic on an empty stomach, I don't know if it's the best 
it's 12 35 right now because this is like my brunch since it's my first meal just 18 more days to go yay i'm gonna make myself some eggs i'm gonna put this avocado oil Ta -da! this is my lunch kind of messed up on the one of the eggs i put everything but the bagel seasoning as always and i microwave the leftover duck i had from monday Pumpkin, I'm on my way to radio so I just ordered salad um, I'm gonna eat that after I finish recording my first hour before I go into my live show but for now I'm gonna eat some sweet potato I brought it from home I'm gonna have it with my warm cup of Americano yay mm. so sweet why are you so good? Why are you so good? Hey guys, I'll be making some omelets with some vegetables like mushrooms and of course garlic and onions. I would put more vegetables in there but those are the only vegetables we have for now. Let's get to cooking! First, you gotta cut the vegetables of course. Oops, I actually found some spinach and mushrooms. Mm. I think I'll be making something more along the lines of scrambled eggs with veggies. I washed my spinach. I know this looks like a lot, but we all know once it's cooked, it's gonna become like this small. This time I cut the garlic, my fingers smelled like garlic for like the next three days. Ooh, my eyes are watering. Yeah. Oh lord. Okay, I'm done. This is what it looks like. I sprinkled some everything but the bagel seasoning and some flax seeds. So the scrambled egg I just made, I'm waiting for it to cool down so I could put it in a container so I could take it to practice with me. So I guess I'll, that'll be my late lunch around like 3 or 4. For now, I'm starting my day with apples. I actually have plants tonight and it involves drinking. I mean, I guess I don't have to drink but there's gonna be like massive food and it's going to be hard to resist the temptation. I just got to practice having a cup of hot Americano. Time to eat my second lunch now. It looks delish. Mm. I'm listening to some phony people in the background because I'll be going to their concert this Sunday. Did you find your black shorts? Mm. Yesterday night, um, I ended up eating more than I should have. I didn't drink a lot. I had two glasses of sangria, but they ordered like fried shrimp and uh, what else is there? Nurungjitang, which is like a kind of like a porridge soup. And today I woke up late because I got home late yesterday. Why am I such a weakling? I don't know. I mean, I'm not giving up just yet, but Tonight, I have another outing. This apple is so soggy. <laughs> I hate soggy apples. So since I have that tonight, I'm really going to not eat a lot before dinner time. I'm about to eat my boiled eggs. I need some energy. I know I said I wasn't gonna eat anything besides eggs today, but I got soy milk on the way to radio. Say hello! Hi guys, I just left my house. It is Saturday. Yesterday at the Korean barbecue place, I had some of the pork, but I ate a lot of vegetables. So that kind of cancels it out, right? It's better than just eating a lot of meat. I think I, I had like 30 garlics or something. But now I'm on my way to Hongdae to meet Christine and Joan. We're gonna go grab vegan food. Wow, tofu over rice, brown rice, and then 
vegan burger, veggie burger, and then the lasagna. Everything's vegan. Yay! Harmony. John, Christine, and I ended up saying goodbye at like three, so I got home really early. So I just came to the gym to work out for a bit while watching Sky Castle because I missed last night's episode. This is my dinner two fried eggs with garlic and some greens to wrap this in. Currently eating some apples while working on my vlog. Grace's house. Oh, Messy we're... bed. <laughs> Cover it. We're gonna film like a Q&A video on her channel yes. and originally she wanted to eat like pizza and I thought it'd be a great idea because we're both from New York. Hey. I'm so mad. I know, I'm sorry. I ruined it. I'm sorry for being a She's party pooper. I've never no. met anyone on a diet recently. It just this had to this is the worst timing because I just started like nine days ago. Like but you did message me, let's just eat pizza. I know at first I was like, let's just eat pizza or bagel because like you know I'll bagel. just starve. Where do you find bagel in Korea? I know, right? It's, yeah, it's hard to find good bagels. Yeah. But then I was like, you know what? Like I'm filming this video, like I can't just be like oh, let's just eat pizza. So I was like, let's just get healthy snacks from the convenience yeah, store. We did. Yeah. Almond milk, nuts, granola. Potatoes and Grace drank this cognac. I have the second layer of bleach on and I'm getting hungry. I did have half an apple and fried eggs this morning. Well, I can't get used to this here. I try to find a salad place nearby, but thankfully there was again refresh in this neighborhood. guys it is Wednesday today I'm in Itaewon to meet Joan, Christine and Grace for lunch at one of my favorite brunch places you won't see much footages of the place in this vlog because I'm actually working on my top favorite brunch spots in Seoul video and this place is actually gonna go in that video so you guys will have to just look forward to the brunch video it is a little hard to get to. I'm walking up the steep hill right now. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, getting my morning workout in. Oh my gosh. I need a break. I actually came to this place with Joan before in the summer and I fell in love with it. It's an Australian style brunch restaurant. So I'm here now. Let's go inside. Joan food. I know. <laughs> dang. Wait, what's that? Wow, dang. <laughs> dang. <laughs> Time to eat my dinner. They have the best sandwiches. I got the chicken breast sandwich. Hey guys, it's 
um, Thursday. I'm at practice. I have no makeup on because I'm going to skincare later. I just came straight to practice after I woke up and I haven't eaten anything yet, but I did bring some um, stuff with me. I brought half an apple. I brought a pack of nuts. Um, I brought two eggs and a sweet potato. So I'm gonna eat whichever one I feel like eating out of those four. I went with apples. kind of soggy. Why are all the apples so soggy these days? Snack time. It's time for dinner. I got myself a salad from Paris Baguette. I'm gonna share this with my manager. Probably have one or two. 